jump in uh, with VintageRock.com at uh, NAMM 2011. I'm here with my, my pal, I can't say that, right? My buddy, uh, producer extraordinaire, guitar player extraordinaire, and all around good guy. Hey, thanks for having me on. Really appreciate it. Hey, man, so what's going on? What's new? You're talking to me about... You were like the king of the tribute on the CDs. I did a bunch of tribute records, I can't lie, you know. A lot of them were real fun because of the artists that were on there. The artists that were tribute, it was just an excuse. But now we came across something that I think is special. We did a tribute to uh, Frank Sinatra. Only we did it up as a metal, hard rock tribute. So all the songs have been reinvented with our guest artists. I'm sure Frank's slipping in his grave, so. Hey, who are these uh, wacky guys playing my tunes? Exactly, so, you know, Devin Townsend singing New York, New York. And wow. Playing Houston, I've got you under my skin. Yeah, that's gonna be amazing. Jeff Tate, Summer Wind, D. Snyder, it's a very good year. You know, we have some real great performances by some really outstanding singers. Eric Barton sang uh, uh, Lady of the Tramp. So, we, you know, we got some real firepower on there. And these are such great songs. I uh, wish you could have been here, like Robin Sanders singing right. Fly Me to the Moon. Right. I mean, it just defied what everybody thought. How do you redo a song like that? Well, have a listen, you'll see. And they got to love going in there and just knocking it out. Well, all of these guys, they're, they're not your fans. Right. You know, we had Billy Sheehan on bass on the whole record. Right. So we had guys that were really passionate about these songs. Yeah. They're some of the greatest songs ever written. But uh, we had the support with the label was fantastic. So out in April, we're gonna, we're gonna do some damage. So April on, uh, what's the record? It's Eagle Rock Universal. Eagle Rock Universal, okay. Yeah, so you find that on a website? Like, uh, I don't know what their website is, but it's, it'll be on Eagle Rock website, so. And any, what's going on after that? I mean, you got so many things so you're after that, on, after that, actually, we just started this up uh, this week. We're doing Dee Snyder's solo record. Wow. So Dee is doing a, uh, after singing on our Sinatra record, he realized that there's something to singing songs that are not necessarily rock songs. So in the interim, he got a gig on uh, Broadway during Rock of Ages. And now he's calling me saying, remember that song we did that you didn't use on the Sinatra thing? Let's uh, try yeah. it. Why don't we play that for a label and see if they'll want to do a record with me? So we're doing the record right now. It's Razor and Tie. And we're doing D Does Broadway. <laughs> I love it. It's going to be great. So, oh, he's gonna be so excited about these things. Was, there was a the heavy metal Christmas record. Christmas record. The Christmas record was amazing. You know, so many others. See you last night at Lemmy's movie. You know what? I thought about it, but I was working last night and I really couldn't make it over. And yeah. I'm dying to see that movie. I, just, I know I was in it for a minute with Dave Grohl. You know, right? we had Lemmy and Grohl down to do a session. But uh, the only reason I'm mentioning it is because Steve Vai, who was one of my idols, actually said to me, and it just made my day. You know, say, God, you get such cool projects to work on, like you're Always. saying. So. You know, I'm spoiled because when you're in them, it's hard to feel any way other than God, what the pressure is to try to make something great, because that's always my intention. Right. I don't want to do something and have somebody go, eh, you know, like, eh, I've heard better. I want somebody to go, this is the best work you've ever done. Exactly, and you have such a roster of people that you're able to organize, man. It's all, you know, yeah. they don't do that for somebody that they don't like. You that's know? true. These guys so. wouldn't sing if they weren't comfortable yeah, exactly. with it's what it is. It's going to make them feel good. With me. It does. It absolutely does. You know? it does. So. And knowing that the audience is there, you know, come to the show and... So many people come up to me, you know, like, oh, you know that song on whatever record it was? That's why you do it. So, you know, the reminder is always here. That's why I always make sure I come. Somebody's bound to say something that makes you feel like, you know what? That's why I do it. That's why I do it. I love what you do, man. Thank you. you. I'm so really lucky. Did, and you do it so well. Dude. Thank you. Thank you. So, well, having a studio and all that really helps. That's that definitely awesome. To be able to have a place where we can hang and have fun doing it. Because, you know, you hear all the stories about what a stress out it is, people doing records the pressure and this and that and the other thing. We do nothing but have fun. If I stress out, it's only only us stressing out. It's not like a whole band, the guys are like, what are we gonna do now? It's not that, you know, so we have fun. I think it shows. Well, I, uh, anything you wanna add? Anything, anything else? You'll have to check it out. Thanks for having me. Anytime. All righty. Bob Kulik, the main jump man on uh, VintageRock.com. Thank you, Junkman, appreciate it. 2011 NAM, baby.